Welcome back everybody, this is Always and back with the next video of JavaScript Essential Training Series. In this video I'm going to be talking about loops in JavaScript. So let's go to script.js file. So why we need loops? While writing a program you may encounter a situation where you need to perform an action over and over again. In such situations you will need to write loop statements to reduce the number of lines. JavaScript support a while loop, for loop, do while loop. So we are going to look at the while loop first. Now let's say you want to write something on a page 10 times. So for that we can use a while loop. So we can create a variable first and we can create a variable named count and we set that to 10 and add a semicolon. Now we can use the very uh, while loop to write something on the page. So I'll start a while loop with while keyword and then add a parenthesis. And here we're going to type the expression, the condition. And then we need to add a code block with our curly braces. Press enter. Now let's add our condition first between the parentheses. And I want to say while count is less than 10. All right, if you notice here, we have the count value 10 already, so this won't run. What we need to do, we need to change the value to 0, and we can say count less than 10. Now, this condition is true because the count value is less than 10, it's 0, so we can say document.write, and here we can type hello word and then add a semicolon now what we have done here we have created an infinite loop so the javascript compiler will come to this line and will check the condition will see that it is true and then it will go into the code block and write hello world for us right and then once it write hello world and go back to the while loop and then check the condition again and see that the count is still less than 10, then it will go and print out hello world. And it's going to keep printing infinitely because the loop never ends, because the count value never reaches to 10 or never goes above 10. So what we can do here, we can add count plus plus, or you could say count is equal to count plus one. Right, it's a long way to do it, what I've shown you in the previous videos. So we can say plus plus, which will add one to the count. So now the compiler comes here and then see condition is true. It will write the hello world on the page and will come down here and it will add one to count. And then once you go back here, now the count value is not zero anymore, it's one. And then the compiler comes to this line and then write it one more time, come back here, and whatever the previous value we have in a count variable, it will add one to it. So that when it goes back to the while loop, it has the value of two. So that's why, that's how we can get out from the infinite loop. Now we are only printing until the count is less than 10. So it start from a zero, and let's see if it's right 10 or nine times, and I'll explain a few more things here. Now I'm going to save this and let's go to the page. I'm going to refresh the page and we can see hello world, hello world, uh, written 10 times. Now I'm going to make sure that it's written on a separate line. So what we can do here in this string, I can add br, which is a break line for HTML. And then we can just close it, save the file. Let's go back and then let's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got the ten times on each line. All right, so this is a while loop. Uh, you can make very complicated things using loops. So, I mean, in this video, I've just shared with you guys the basic idea how loops work and what you can basically achieve with it. So you can achieve a statement multiple times with a few lines of code. Now let's look at the do while loop. It's kind of same thing, but uh, it's not often used, but it's still there, so I'll show you. Now, 
up top do to start the do while loop and then add a chord block enter and we can say do this document dot write and we can say this is do while loop and then we can add the new line here as well with the help of HTML thing there so let's just get out from there and we can add count plus plus here so once it executed it get adds the value of uh, count to one so it adds one value to count now we can type while and I will add a condition here in the parentheses we'll say count less than five okay and then we can finish this by semicolon at the end now we can save this file and I'm going to go back and refresh the page now we can see do while loop this is a do while loop so basically it's uh, actually what it's doing when the compiler comes here it sees the value is zero so we have this while loop before this do while loop so in the count we have zero for the first time and then goes back all the way so it keeps adding one to the count so this loop actually does not run five times because when the compiler keeps going in this loop when it come out from that loop the count value is already above five so if I type 15 here and then this will this loop will run because after 10 this is going to get stopped and then it's time for this loop let's save the file let's refresh the page and now we have this five okay it's five times well let me explain to you one more time here you might be confused here so when the compiler comes here it adds one to the count and it keeps going until the value is less than 10 and then when it comes here we have the value of 10 already so it goes here it says oh, 10 and then it goes back to do write this and then add another uh, digit of one into count then it comes back here it says that it is now 10 or 11 and then keeps going until it gets to 15 so that is why we get this statement to be printed uh, five times not 15 times I hope you understood now I think it's time for us to learn for loop let's just delete everything now for loop is uh, is the most compact form of looping it includes a few things such as loop initialization test statement iteration statement so the loop iteration where we initialize our counter to a starting value the initialization statement is executed before the loop begins all right so we have the test statement which will test if the given condition is true or not and if the condition is true then the code given inside the loop will be executed and we have the iteration where you can increase or decrease your counter now in the while loop and do while loop we had to add the condition next to the while and then we added the iteration like count plus plus inside our code block but with the for loop you can add that those things in one line now let's look at the for loop example we have the count value zero i'm going to type four is a keyword to start a loop add parentheses and the first is first value is loop initialization so what we're doing here is we're starting a loop with loop initialization that would be count is equal to zero okay and then we need to try a semicolon the next is going to be test the condition so the condition we want to test so I will test let's say count is less than 10 and then add a semicolon again and the third one is our iteration which is incrementing a count value or decrementing a count value so we have a count less than 10 which is a condition and once it loop once the compiler comes here it sees the count value is zero we actually don't even need this variable count now because we are creating a variable here by using the var key 
and we don't need to define that on the top. We can actually define the var keyword within the loop. Now we have our initialization, we have that test statement, and then we have iteration, which is going to be count plus plus. And then we start our code block here with the curly braces. Now let's uh, write few things. So let's just say document dot write and in the quotation we type a string let's say this is an example of for loop let's get out and finish the statement with semicolon let's save the file and we'll go back to our page and i'm going to refresh this and there you go so we got this in example of loop and it's been printed 10 times now we go back and we add a new line here with the help of HTML, br, and let's just type this, save the file, and then we'll go back and refresh the page. And now we have this on each line. So this is an example of loop one, two, three, four, five, six. Now what I can do here, I can actually print out before this, I can print out count, okay? And then I can add plus to concatenate plus here we're using to concatenate these two things we have a string and we have a variable now what it's going to do it's going to add a number of the count what of the number we have before printing out this so let's save the file let's go back and let's refresh the page and now we have zero one two three four five six seven eight nine so what i can do here i can add a space here just give a space here save the file a refresh and now we have the space there zero two so we can see then how many times this uh, statement gets printed so this is the for loop now let's look at for in loop well the for in loop is used to loop through an object properties uh, as we have not discussed the objects yet, but you may not feel comfortable with this loop. But once we understand how object behaves in JavaScript, you will find this loop very useful. I'm only going to show you the syntax for this loop. And once I get to the objects of JavaScript, and then we will discuss this loop in details. Now, the syntax for that is very simple. All you have to start a loop with the keyword for add parentheses and then here we type the variable name let's say count or we can create another variable let's just say for in and then space i n and then the object name so we just simply type object and then we can add a code block at then so this is the syntax for for in loop this is uh this is used to i mean loop through an object properties we haven't discussed the object yet so you might feel uncomfortable but i'll get to that later in the course so yeah that's it for this uh, looping and happy looping and uh subscribe to the channel if you have any question let me know in the comments below and as, as always uh stay tuned and make sure you uh join our facebook group all right for the programmers i drop a link in the description thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next one chase